My name is Masood Iqbal. This is my story for the colorful heritage. I was born in Pakistan just after uh, partition 1947. I left uh, Pakistan for the UK when I was about seven years old. Originally in 1952, my father, uh, who was a doctor, Dr. Rehmatullah, he came to the UK first. And after one year, he called my mother, my brother, myself, and uh, two sisters to Glasgow. And we arrived uh, via Southampton and then to Glasgow. Stayed in, the, in an area called the Gorbals, uh, 172 Nicholson Street, ground floor. And after about two days, three days, uh, my father took us to the local school, which is called Aberystwyth School, and uh, enrolled us. And uh, from there, primary school, we started. Then after primary seven, I think it was, then we went to senior secondary school, it's called Strathbungo Secondary School in Craigie Street. Mm -hmm. And then from there, uh, then I went to university, Strathclyde University, I was doing textile technology. I finished there about 1960, I think it was about 67. And my first job was in a textile dyeing company called William McConnell's in Bridgeton. And I worked there for about two years. And then my our intention was to go back to Pakistan and do textile, uh, you know, because the, the textile industry was booming it in Pakistan at the time. But uh, when we went back, there was the, it was a big decline in the textile industry due to the Chinese market. So we came back after five, six months, came back here, and then just went straight into business. When we first came over to this country, we couldn't speak a single word of English. The very first day we went to school, we were looking at everybody's faces when they were talking to us. And I think within a few months, we started talking, uh, you know, Glaswegian. Mm -hmm. We had no problem after a few months. We picked up so quickly. When, when I first started uh, in, the, in the business, you didn't, at that time, there was a lot of opportunities, I think, and there wasn't a lot of competition. And... Uh, it didn't take much to, you know, to succeed. Just now, I would say any new kids coming into the in the business, they need to be very careful. They need to have a financial background, uh, strong at the moment, education before they go into business. It's very, very tough now, I think, for the, the new generation. When we first came to Glasgow, there was hardly any halal meat shop. So it was, I think, uh, one uh, meat shop and the mosque in Oxford Street uh, was it only opened at uh, Juma time, and the rest of the time uh, it was closed. Or if the Namaz time came, they opened it. When we first came, you know, uh, there was no other mosque. And then my father and a few other elders, maybe five, six other people, got together and decided that the mosque must open at all times, whether there's anybody coming or not. And when we first started the mosque uh, to do our uh, Quranic lessons, it was about myself, my brother, and about five, six other kids. That was the f first class I ever started. And then from there, you know, onwards, and more and more families came, and then the mosque uh, became, you know, full, quite a reasonable amount of people. But at that time, it was only was the one mosque. And that was con a converted, uh, you know, flat. At that time, I would say it was only maybe 15, 20 families at maximum. Most of the families that did come, they were all living in the Gorbals. They were maybe one street away, another street, you know, and uh, maybe saw, saw them at the weekends. But there wasn't a lot of socialising because there wasn't, there wasn't many Muslim families at all. Mm -hmm. So we just stayed at home, st stuck together. I think uh, things started changing drastically around about 19, I would say about 63, 64. More and more families started coming and uh, more uh, Muslim halal butchers opened up, grocers opened up and uh, from there just progressed onwards. Originally when we first came over, they, they weren't very sure what 
Islam is. But seeing us preaching, seeing us practicing as a Muslim, they respected us. Anything we said, this is a part of a religion, the schools, the teachers, the everyday life people, they respected it. Now that I've lived in this country, I think the media has brought a lot of attention about Islam, and I think they're more aware of it now than they were when we were young. But seeing that, they still respected us, uh, although they, they were quite ignorant about Islam. I mean, we went to primary school here, secondary school here, university here, and then business life. I think I've been very, very lucky that uh, I've not experienced hardly any racism at all. Possibly when we were young, maybe 10, 12, maybe the odd kid might would say, you know, a, a racist remark, but they were too young even to realise what they're saying. But on the whole, I would say I've not had much experience in Scotland. I've been to everywhere, you know, London, Birmingham, Manchester, nothing to beat Scotland. The Scottish people, I don't think you can get anywhere else uh, Scottish people like the, the, the way they treat the foreigners. They accept people here and we've been fully accepted. I think the host nation, uh, well I would say Scottish, they are the best. <laughs>